Happy Friday! It's the end of the first week of physical science trimester two and what we're doing today, like I've said, um, Fridays are going to be our summative days, days where we have maybe a test or a project or in this case a expert one pager. So go ahead and read through your agenda, the attendance question, watch the video, you're doing that, very important instructions, good job. Uh, for our explanation today, there's really no explanation, um, just going over instructions for today's assignment. So, instructions for completing your individual one-pager on the four main concepts covered in class this week. The one-pager is 10 points summative, so summative is like that larger portion of your grade, and will be graded on completion and detail. So, I have some instructions here. Uh, one, find your slide. You're going to be using a Google slide um, to do your work. So find your slide. Names are in the bottom left corner. Define each term given and answer each question given. Find three pictures that represent your concept. Explain why you chose each picture. picture. How does each picture represent the concept? Play around with formatting. Change placements, fonts, colors. The only thing you can't change is the background color. And then for your star slides today, you need to pick the best slide from each category and take a screenshot to add to your star slide. And then seven, take a screenshot of your slide and submit it to the uh, expert one pager screenshot assignment in today's folder. So go ahead and read through today's slideshow. It goes over this in detail as well. And so uh, for your star slides today, um, you have mass length volume screenshot, density screenshot, metric conversion screenshot, graphing screenshot. And so you're going to basically take a slide picture of the four best slides uh, from each category. And that's what you're going to be doing in your star slides today. And then don't forget to submit your star slides today. Awesome. So that is our explanation of your project or your assignment for today. All right. And so... These are the links to the expert one pages. So hour one, do here, hour two, do here. And this is the assignment where you'll submit a screenshot of your final finished slide. So let's go ahead and look at hour one. So this is the hour one. So if you're in hour two, you'll click on the other one. We have the instructions here again. Uh, to help you complete your one pager, you can use your star slides, the daily slideshows that are in the daily assignments, Google, and a group member. And please do not edit anyone else's slide. Uh, another reminder of what you're doing for your star slides today. And then you'll notice that we have this beautiful rainbow of slides broken into groups of four. And so you're going to find your slide. They're alphabetical by first name. So you'll see that like these are all of the A's. Um, so go ahead, alphabetical by first name, find your slide. And so say you have uh, this first slide, mass, length, volume. So you're going to define mass, length, and volume. You're going to find three pictures that represent mass, length, and volume. And then you're going to tell me for each picture, why does it represent mass, length, and volume? For the second one, we have density. So you have to define density, and then you have to explain how does mass affect its density? How does volume affect its density? So you have to answer those two questions. And again, find three pictures and explain why that picture represents density. For the third one, we have metric prefixes. So you just have to list all of the metric prefixes in order, starting probably with kilo, and then going down all the way to milli, and then also explain how to solve the problem. 20.0 millimeters equals how many meters? So go ahead, tell me how many meters is it, and then tell me how you did it. So like, did you move decimal places or something? And then again, find three pictures, and then explain why you think it represents those pictures. And lastly, graphing. So tell me, what are the three types of graphs and when slash why do you use each type? Your star slides will be super nice for that. And then also three pictures and why you think that picture represents graphing. And then you'll notice that the next color starts over again. So those are just those four slides. So you're going to be assigned one of them, find them. And then at the very end, um, you're going to be uh, taking a screenshot. You're going to be finding the best one of each category. So this might be the best metric prefix one. So you'll take a screenshot of this. This might be the best density. Take a screenshot of that. That might be the best mass length volume. Take a picture of that. And then this one might be the best graphing. So take a picture of that. And you're going to put it in your star slides for today. Um, and so again, you're going to put it in the screenshot area um, on your star slides. And then submit your star slides. And then once you have yours done, you're going to take a screenshot of it. Click here to submit a screenshot of your expert one-pager slide. 
you'll go to this assignment, which also has a link to the one pagers. Um, and then it doesn't show for me because I'm obviously teacher view, but right here there'll be a submit assignment button. Where you'll submit the file of your screenshot. Uh, so that's that. Uh, your extension for today is just checking your grades. So this will bring directly to your science grade. So check, check your messages, check your grades, um, see if there's anything else for any other classes. And then submit your star slides. Uh, so don't forget to turn your star slides, check everything out here and you're good to go. So that is today's assignment. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. Do not just sit there and think, oh, this is too confusing. I don't know what to do. I'm just not going to do it. Please do it. Again, this is a larger part of your grade and a great way to review different concepts and see everyone else's work as well. And that's what I got. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.